We're Tyler and Todd, and we've been living full time in our renovated RV for over a year. We recently got a new one and are bringing you along every Wednesday and Sunday for the renovation from start to finish. In Sunday's video, we painted the cabinets, changed out electrical, and repaired a leaky slide. Today, we're tackling the bathroom remodel from paint to floor and everything in between. Hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and come along. Hello and welcome back to our channel. If you're new around here, I'm Tyler. And I'm Todd, and we are currently in the process of converting our RV into a beautiful tiny house on wheels because we intend to hit that open road and start exploring again. Yeah, so the last few weeks have been kind of a whirlwind. It's only weeks, it feels like months. I was literally gonna say it's hard to believe that it's only been a few <laughs> weeks. But I'm really proud of everything that we've done to get to this point. If you wanna check out those other videos, you wanna put them right there? You wanna put them right there? Right there. Yeah, check those out. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, over the next few days, we are gonna be renovating the bedroom and the bathroom from the carpentry work to the tile, the wallpaper, backsplash, a little bit of plumbing, some carpentry, there's minor electrical, and it's then- It's gonna be a lot of work. Painting too. Yeah, so before we get started on that, we do want to say a quick thank you to the sponsor of this series, Camping World. Camping World has a huge selection of used RVs if you want to create your own tiny house on wheels, just like we're doing. Not only do they have a huge selection of campers to buy, they also have everything that you need for tiny living and camping in general, from sewer hoses to wheel chocks. All the way up to barbecues and lights. <laughs> and pretty much everything in between. So make sure that you check out the link in the description box below or head to campingworld.com. But now it's time to get started. I think the first thing we should do is paint the shower because if we- I was actually thinking that too. Yeah. Well, we'll end up ruining the floor if we don't. Exactly, plus it's very meticulous. A lot of cutting in, so yeah. I think let's do that first to sort of like put a little pep in our step and get onto the floor. A little small win. <laughs> All right, let's go. Okay. We don't like this color that it comes on and it's really expensive and a lot of work to replace the shower like surround. So we're just using trim clad and we're just painting over top of the metal. So we've already washed it with the TSP, then rewashed it to remove that. Now we're just taking our sweet time because it's a lot of cutting in. When we're done today and the door can be left open overnight to dry, I'll paint like the inside of the door. But if a little paint gets in on there right now, that's okay. Oh yeah. Don't feel like you have to try and like jam it in. This is looking so good. Over here where it was done first, it's starting to dry and you can start to see the matte finish. Who's Matt? Is that Bob's son? And that's your cousin. <laughs> Are we gonna continue on with Sabrina tonight? I might rent Hocus Pocus from Prime. Are you gay if you don't watch Hocus Pocus at least once in the fall? I don't make the rules, but we gladly enforce them. I'd swoop up a kid. If I could stay young. <laughs> there's tons of kids, but there's one of me. <laughs> oh, boo! We're good to start measuring for the floor. Nice. So this is the other toilet that we're gonna put on. It's plastic, so it's a lot lighter. Yeah. And we wanna keep as much weight out of this as possible. Exactly, because we are putting in some heavy products, so just trying to counterbalance. So we are ready to start our tile. We measured to find the center point because what we wanna do is try and balance the cuts so that you're not ending up with like a full tile on this side of the room and a cut tile on this side. Before we started, Tom was like, I bet you it's gonna be right where the toilet is. It is, so I actually had to bump it a little bit just to make it work. So anyway, the tile we're going with is a peel and stick tile. It's super lightweight, which is really good for this application because you don't have to do the grout and all that stuff. You just put this on. What I've done is I've created a grid here. So this is where I'm actually gonna start my tile. And then I'll peel the back off and line it up with this. And then that means that all my tiles are gonna be straight going forward. So. The only straight thing in this room. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about, bruh? Let's do it. First tile down. It's really pretty. What do you think of it? Love it. Yeah. I think it's gonna look eleganza. Extravaganza. All right, let's really start laying these. The road ahead, it twists and turns in the sun. Yeah, I 
three quarters. Trust me, it's nine and three quarters. I have an eyeball for measurement. Did you know me? You're my boy. You're my best friend. You're my best friend. His name is Charlie, and he's my best friend. All right, Charlie. We need to keep working. Come on. Hey, go play with Eddie. Go play with Eddie. I'll go play. I'll go play with you, Dad. Come on. Oh. So each box, the pattern is slightly different, which makes it really difficult to be able to line up the lines. Of course, the tile we chose is a line tile, which just makes it... I do not recommend this product to anyone. It's definitely frustrating, so we're just taking our time, we're being patient, right? Nope. We're trying to be patient. And I'm not very good at it. You are not, but we're gonna press on. All right, so it's about 45 minutes later and we're still pretty much stuck in the exact same place. There's so many different edges and corners here. It's incredibly frustrating. We know it'll get done and it's gonna look so nice once it is done, but man, oh man, it's frustrating. So anyway, with that said, Todd wants me to go into town and pick him up a large fries and a sub, which seems like a very weird combination to me, but... Not really. No? Um, but also too, if you want french fries, um, get something for yourself because that's a large fries for me. Can I just have a couple bites of yours? I'll just take half. So now there's a rule that if he says no at the beginning of the drive-thru, there's like no when fries. We're, I promise to have all these cut-ins done and be like just about or have already started the steps by the bed. All right, I can get on board with that. I don't think you'll be able to have all that done by the time I get back, but. Where there's a will, there's a way. Here you go. Thank you. How is it? I won't lie to you. This is the um, Pinot Grigio that I made and it's actually terrible. <laughs> Get you to the same place? <laughs> well, good luck. And the next time you see me, I'll have your sub, your fries. My God, I am lucky. Not only do I have the cutest husband ever, but he's also getting me fries and a sub. Yeah, well, look at what you're doing here. So I'm the lucky one. Love you. Oh, you weren't joking. Got so much done. I know. Oh. Fries, a sub, and a coffee. What's better? <laughs> How's the wine? Do you need Good. a top lip of it? Well, I mean, if you're offering, I'm not gonna <laughs> say no. Do we want to eat first? Sure. I'm really hungry. <laughs> Give me that. <laughs> all finished. We are. I'm a little loopy. I don't know if it's because I've been doing floor all day or I drank a bottle of wine while doing the floor, but. Could have been the latter. <laughs> Ooh, no, it's ripped my shorts. <laughs> it's great. It looks so good, you guys. I love it. It feels so bright and open in here. Like, I it's... swear, I could do a cartwheel across the bed, down the hall, and to the living room. Probably four, five, probably six. Definitely six cartwheels. Definitely. Gotta be tight here because the ceilings are low, but. Where there's a will, there's a way. <laughs> All right, what do you think? Let's go shower. Let's head home. What Let's are we doing for supper? I have no idea, Todd. We can make french fries. Good. We can make nachos again. <laughs> Send me your kids. <laughs> Night, guys. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. We are back for another day of renovations to the RV bathroom. Day two day two and we're so glad that we ended up doing the flooring the first day because that was incredibly frustrating yesterday yeah and very tiring like it's hard being on the floor doing all that all day it's hard you being have... on your knees i'm telling you oh working girls anyway today is going to be an easier day we're going to do the backsplash we're going to do the wallpaper we've got three doors to hang two cabinet doors we're going to do a privacy film on that window we're gonna try and install the hooks. We gotta take off the old vanity counter, install a new one, seal it, then put a new sink and faucet on. Oh, and we should probably put the toilet back on, but if we have time, we'll also try and get the baseboards done. That seems like a lot. <laughs> Cheer up, buttercup. Do you think we're gonna get all that done today? Oh, probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Knowing us, we'll do one task and then more glasses. Oh, God, I'm pooped. <laughs> All right, well, we're gonna try our best. So first things first, we're gonna get started on the wallpaper. I think that that probably makes the most sense. I think so first. too, because then we don't have to worry about doing a finish end on that side. We can just wrap it around and put the tile over top. Yeah. 
You're thinking ahead of the project. I am. Okay, you ready? Yeah, let's go. The product that we're going with is actually a peel and stick contact paper wallpaper, which makes it super easy. We don't have to worry about doing all that glue and I don't even know what's involved with it because I started to research it, looked complicated, so we moved on to this, which we actually did in our first poop palace and it worked really, really well. A little bit, I really do. I did, I'll tell you, I love it. All right, do you want to get started on this? <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be cute, <laughs> just like you. I was thinking we line up there and follow this down. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm following this straight edge here down. Two gays trying to get something straight isn't gonna go very well. <laughs> There's a bubble up there, too. What do you need me to do, hun? Be pulling it down? Yeah. I feel like this is like a ghost. ghost. <laughs> Tyler, that looks fine, actually. Yeah, but like it's starting to drift. Yes, and this is behind a door. So unless you're pooping, you're still, even when you're pooping, you're looking this way. So you're not seeing this line. If you're new to our channel, we do everything <laughs> together. Like, it looks so ridiculous, but like, you have to pull the paper while I do it. <laughs> I love it. I'm pretty good at wallpaper. You are. I'm just gonna... It's a very attention to detail class, that's why. Yeah. See, I would not be good at this, but I really enjoy doing the tile. Let's see what we got here. I'll bring you down for the journey. Boom! Just like that. No more sink. I've been working on the railroad. Ow! <laughs> Don't break the shower top. That's what Tyler would say. What are we looking at for dimensions there, Big Rig? I don't know what we're doing for the actual counter, they're in my book, but for this, I need to put a new board here to secure it too. Cause uh -oh. I thought you were here. measuring for the camera. No, that's why I was like, why is he getting a camera for this? It's not exciting. All right, well, <laughs> to the counter. We are going with real bamboo countertops for the kitchen, which are incredibly heavy. In order to save weight, we're actually just using pine board for the countertops in the bathroom, the side tables in the bedroom, as well as the desk. So it'll give it the same kind of look, but just way less weight. Weight is a really important consideration in an RV. If it were like a tiny house that wasn't on wheels, we would definitely have went with bamboo throughout, but we also don't sacrifices. need the durability of bamboo in the bathroom yeah. and stuff versus like the kitchen where it's going to be more rough and tough. I think it would actually be easier over there and use the skill saw. Sure. I'll grab the square. 27 in the car. Hun, don't mess it up. Where are the safety glasses? Probably on the counter. Do, 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 do. You nervous? No. Now I know what it feels like to be you. What? Because I got like one camera there. Just trying to get all the angles. All the shot. All the shot. For me program. That'll be nice. Yeah, that looks good. And then our and then sink. Sink. With our subway tile in the background. It's oh, look really good. It's looking so good. But we don't have any of the plumbing parts to do this. So while you get this fastened, and if you want to put up the um, I'll get you know, started on the tile, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna run to the hardware store and get that stuff, so then we can get this done tonight, hopefully. So, let's get started. So, if you're new around here, in another video, we said that we're actually gonna be using a peel and stick tile for the backsplash in both the kitchen and the bathroom. So the one we're going with is actually a 3D gel tile. So, when you peel back the plastic, you can see that it has a 3D effect to it. The grout is lower than the actual tile, so it looks really real. What's great about this particular one also is that it is both heat and water resistant, so it's strong enough to be in a shower enclosure like this, but also strong enough to be around a back of a gas fired oven. So that's really great for our situation. Also, it's super lightweight, so a lot of people were concerned we were putting real subway tile on and that it would weigh down the RV too much, but we're not doing that. We're just going with a nice peel and stick. So the first step I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna measure to find the center point in the room. 
The reason for that is this way our cuts are balanced. Say we take off a half an inch on this side, we'll also have to take off a half an inch on this side, and then when you look at it, the tiles are actually even, it's much more symmetrical, it's just more aesthetically pleasing. So that is what I'm gonna do now. So we'll take off the cover, remove our backing. So now that the first one's up, we're just gonna keep working our way following this like a little bit of a puzzle. We're all waking up unsatisfied. I want to taste the honey. It feels like it's real, but I can't be sure. Now my eyes are bloody. Now we're gonna do the plumbing. I hate okay. installing toilets. Also, can we just like take a moment and appreciate how much this has come together in such a short time? Yeah, um, I didn't turn the camera on because I was just in a groove of getting a bunch of work done, but I reinstalled all the doors and the thing up there. I've got some touch-up painting to do. Yeah. But it's coming together! I feel like I have a sadistic look on my face while I'm sawing <laughs> Ta-da! Oh, buddy! So this is a wax ring. It is the thing that I hate the most in the entire world. So. Todd has wasted so many of these, I can't even tell you. It's gotten to the point where, like, there was one house, I called a plumber to come and just install a toilet. That was it, because it was just, I wasted like four or five, I get fr flustered very easily, and I said, I'm done, I'm finished, I'm moving out. It's just this wax thing here. And it, what it does is it causes, it creates a seal. So I'm a little nervous because this is so much lighter. One of the good things about the wax ring is the porcelain pushes it down and that's what causes your seal. So. Yeah, I don't even know how this is gonna work. We'll try it. it might not until we sit down and take our first dump in it. It may not push in. You might sit down and take one and be like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> this is what I always get wrong. The bolts are the wrong size. The bolts so, are too short. Yeah, we're just gonna move on, and that is not a big deal. Like, we can fix that later. We can poop in the yard. So, yeah, basically, <laughs> the bolts are just <laughs> too short. But the toilet looks, um, it looks much pretty. better here yeah. than right. the other one. Let's, it looks very European. Yeah, let's move on. Are you ready? Oh, okay. I didn't measure center this way, I was measuring center this way, and I was like, let's try and get it as close to center as I can. I'm like bang on. You're a superstar. That's a Thank big you. bug. Hey, Philip. I got this. You tell me if you think we're straight. So we've got the sink and the faucet installed, but we've hit a few more hiccups. Usually the faucet comes with the sink stopper. This one didn't. So I have to go to the store tomorrow and buy one. The water connections are not only a different size from the supply lines, but also they both ended up being female. So I need to buy a reducer coupler, a female to, like a male to male reducer. So I'll do that tomorrow. I do prefer when my supply line is male. Anyway. Todd's I'm... very frustrated. So it's time to go home, you guys. We got I'm a lot done. We haven't shown this side, I don't think. It's beautiful. It's getting there. We need to not put too much pressure on ourselves. This was two days of work. We've accomplished so, so much. So much work's been accomplished in two days. All right, let's head home, hun. Sounds good. Good morning. Top of the morning. <laughs> it's day three of the bathroom and bedroom renovation. Never and man, ends. oh man, the plumbing parts are really not working out. We are on our third or fourth? fourth fourth sink drain the faucet is a weird size that i'm now just going to uninstall it take it with me and say help me and find me parts but i have to go into halifax to yeah. do it we've exhausted all the stores around us yeah we went to a couple of the local stores they're just too small it's too specific of a drain i guess but it's also good because we got a notification that our couch has arrived today yeah. so i'm gonna go in and pick that up as well which is kind of exciting silver lining we'll eventually have at least one piece of furniture in here yeah, that's true. <laughs> but anyway, on that note, um, it's also Wednesday uh, around lunchtime, so I need to get editing. So <laughs> we're going to end the video off here. As always, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed to our channel, subscribe. And hit that little bell. It goes like, ding, when we post. And that's kind of I like... I don't think it actually makes a noise, to be Well, honest. you can just mentally picture me dinging. And then, like, just that warmth will fill your heart. Mm. And then you'll be like... 
I should watch Tyler and Todd. Watch, we post on Sunday and nobody watches our video because you're so annoying. Everyone turned off the bell. <laughs> All right, you guys. Anyway, thanks as always for joining <laughs> us and we will see you on Sunday. Bye. Bye. <laughs>